Lindsay, thanks. It's 533. Well, this case is something we've been following very closely since right around Thanksgiving. 17-year-old Caitlin Fresina was reported missing. She had run off with 27-year-old Ryan Rodriguez, apparently. Rodriguez now back in Florida facing a felony charge of interference with child custody. First Coast News, Juliet Dreyer now live in Columbia County with more on this case and what could happen today specifically. Juliet? Lou, this is the first time Ryan Rodriguez will appear before a judge here in Florida. Up until this point, he was being held in New York. But last night, around 5 o'clock in the evening, actually, Rodriguez was booked into the Columbia County Jail, charged with, as you mentioned, interference with child custody, which is a felony. The former assistant soccer coach is accused of running away with a 17-year-old in late November, sparking a nationwide search. Police say Rodriguez and high school student Caitlin Frazina were headed to Canada, but were found in Syracuse, New York on December 1st. Frazina's father revealed he got Rodriguez a coaching job for the boys soccer team at Fort White High School. That's the same school for which Frazina played soccer herself. The Clay County Sheriff's Office says there are indicators of a potential relationship between the teen and the 27 year old that started back in August or September, and that includes lewd Snapchat messages between the two. Meanwhile, we've also learned a separate investigation is underway here in Columbia County after accusations of an inappropriate communications between a different school coach and a different student. The Columbia County Sheriff's Office says the communication happened via text messages, and they say the current investigation has not revealed anything illegal, but stress that it's still early to tell. And Ryan Rodriguez will appear in court via video from the jail around 7.30 this morning, and we do have a crew here and we'll keep you updated throughout the morning on air and online. Live in Lake City, Juliet Dreyer, First Coast News on your side.